I think AD Shivana is bad in Hyla, but I do think AP Shivana does have potential. I think you could make that work if you played it well enough. Is Paladin still chat or still shit? I don't know. I never play Paladins. That Diana is me, dude. Eoba. How about S Diana too? Eoba, did you see where S Diana two was fucking like a thousand LP early season? I mean, I know it's early season, but still. What does Diana Jungle do best? Like, what if I was playing Diana Jungle? What would my clear path be? It'd probably look something like Red Raptors to Scuttle. I imagine her Raptor clear is pretty quick. I'd like to do the same clear path I did last game, but I'm afraid the enemy team is going to read it. It's generally a bad idea when you're in high elo to do the same clear path two games in a row. So I don't know. Let's try something a little different here. Yeah, look, Darius worded it. That's why, like I said, I try not to do the same clear path two games in a row, just because people start reading it really well. Only thing I'm worried about is if Diana goes for the scuttle. I'm going to be very late to it, and she gets a free scuttle. This clear path is really suboptimal on Udyr, but I'm doing it because I'm against a Diana jungle, and I'm afraid she's going to steal my raptor camp. Okay, we do just get a free crab. Awesome. I'm glad she didn't go for this crab. Would have been really awkward. That's pushing in. Let's go here. I don't want to waste time on a gank I can't make. And I don't want to gank mid because, like I said, I imagine there's a pixel ward here. Um, so they know I'm there. Like I said, I really wish I could have done a red Krug start this game. I would have loved to have been able to gank the, uh... I would have loved to have been able to gank the Darius. I'm actually gonna smite this just for health. I was thinking about, I'm going to be honest, I was really thinking about flashing on him there. I'm telling them I'm taking the long way around is what these pings mean. I'm not going to hit the scrying plant because I don't want to let them know where I am. Diana might have done a red Krug start and she might be like resetting her jungle right now. Really good hook. We're just going to take the free kill here. No reason to go on the Lucian, I don't think. I actually kind of surprised he got Winters out. The sad stuff. part is, even here, even if I did manage to get a dot on the Braum, I don't think I would have killed him there. Red Smite's very, very good this game. We, last game, we went Blue Smite because they had a bunch of range champions. But against this team comp, Red Smite's really, really good because it'll allow me to not only burn the Braum and the Darius, since they have two melee champions this one, um, but it also allow me not to die instantly to Diana Burst because you take 20% less damage with Red Smite, if you didn't know. That was Lucian Flash, right? Okay, it was. He's hard shoving that in, but Twisted Fate should be back up here in time. What up, Gamers83? How you doing, buddy? You're not doing Blue Gromp anymore now? I've done it. I still think that's the best clear path for Udyr. I just think, you know, 
against certain champions like Shivana and uh, um, Diana, you know, I need to do something a little bit different, right? I don't know how I feel about that. I actually don't even know if I could have um, lived there. Would have been close. Looks like we're winning the coin flip. Bot lane's winning. The ADC did not get any of the kills, but Twisted Fate and Braum got a kill. So, I mean, I think that's fine. I mean, I like I said, I still strongly recommend... Um, I still strongly, strongly recommend Blue Gromp start for most Udyrs. And I think it is... The best staple start for him at the moment. Um, but like I said, there are just certain games where I need to mix it up a little bit. Worth, I mean, the death here is 100%. Like, that puts the lane... Eh, Darius got the kill, though. Scion got an XP advantage, but... But uh, Darius got the kill, so... Whether or not that death was worth is close. You know? I do think Udyr is actually very, very good into that team comp. So, I mean, me getting the kill. There's some games where taking the, or getting the kill is a bad thing. But um, I do think me getting a kill will actually have pretty significant impact to this game. Like I said, I'm fairly, fairly confident I'll be able to, you know, put in some work this one. I'm going to look to snowball bot lane because their summoners are still down for a little bit. We have complete lane control right now, and we also have a pink ward in this bush. This lane gank should just be free as fuck. It's really smart of the Thresh to not um, walk in this bush, because now they don't feel any pressure to... Uh... What I did there um, is we input buffered the stun. God. It's kind of sad I died, though. Sivir might actually be able to try to kill on the Braum. It'll be close, though. Nice. Still not great. I mean, we lost. That was a two for three in their favor. Um, it's not great, but I mean, I'll take it considering they got the engage off, you know? But what I did here is we input buffered the stun on the Diana because I knew she was going to try and dash in like that. Like I said, all things considered, I mean, it's not the worst. That could have gone a lot worse considering they got the uh, initial engage there. <laughs> Diana is probably behind me. There's not a ward here. This should be free. Let's try it. He does have ghost up by now, though. God, the only way this goes poorly, the only way that goes poorly is if the Darius gets a double pull on both of us. God, look how much health that Darius passive did. I'm scared to go contest the um, crab, so we're just going to farm our jungle here. If I was a little bit healthier, I'd look to contest crab with Twisted Fate R, but Twisted Fate also is going back to base, so without Twisted Fate mid, I think I'm just going to die if I'm... Um, I face check a Diana and she sees me. I'm intentionally going to walk like really far around here because Diana might have recognized that I might have gotten greedy. So she might be like waiting to bush cheese me or something. I've looked at, you know, I do similar things whenever I see the enemy jungler gank top like that. Now that Twisted Fate is back, I can go check to see whether or not she did the um, crab. She did do it, so that's why we don't walk out in river like that. Cause, she, like I said, she was probably in that river just waiting for me. Yeah, double buff Lucian was definitely like it's kind of sad that um we lost that as hard as we did, but um at the end of the day, it's still all right.
This Twisted Fate, I want y'all to notice how well this Twisted Fate is playing these ults. Okay, I need to back off. This is getting greedy. Well played by my team there. I inted actually really hard. But that was a huge mistake from me. I misstepped there because, like I said, I needed to respect the fact that they had Braum passive and Lucian dash and all that. Um, but my team played it well enough that it didn't matter that misplay. <laughs> Alright, what are we building this game? Merc Treads is honestly still the best boots here, even though I already have Legends Nasty. I think I'm going to go straight into Sterex. I don't know about going Triforce against that team. God, I just feel like the higher elo you go, the harder it is to justify going Triforce. I'm saying, like, if I was smurfing, I think Triforce would be great into that team because I can carry. But I do think, uh, you know, up here, if I go try, I'm just going to get blown up by Diana Darius. Yeah, I get it, Fire. Like, Udyr can be utility, but how I view it is, like, the only utility he brings is peeling, you know? I mean, you don't have to be the carry, I agree, but, you know, I think if you are in a position to carry, you should take it, you know? And this is one of the few team comps I feel like Udyr actually is pretty strong into, you know? Okay. Really good flash there from Thresh. Damn, Cat Ears played that like a beast. Will soon fall. I think I sh should have shoved mid in here. I think I made a mistake here. After we all this happened, I should have shoved in mid and looked to get turret plates. I actually play I entered kind of hard there because I could have gotten another 320 gold probably out of that. Actually, kind of a huge misplay from me. An enemy has been slain. Survivability is a form of carry too, true. Fires are on, on ice with the fucking wisdom coming at you. That play, dude, the same shit happens to me, honestly. When I watch other streamers, I want to play League, and then I queue up for League and remind myself how shitty this game is. Like, I see I see other people play the game, and I'm like, fuck yes, dude, let's go play some Udyr. And then I fucking queue up, and I get the 0-12 bot lane, and I'm like, all right. Well. We tried. Thank you. 
I think we're already dead here, honestly. Shut down. Hmm. I I think I misplayed that really hard. I don't know. Definitely things I could have done different there. <laughs> I feel that grievier, honestly. Honestly. That's how I feel like with how League should be. Like, if people are gonna, you know, wait to play this game, if they're going to spend, you know, hours and hours of their lives getting good at the game, then it's only fair if everybody, you know, puts puts forth their best effort. This guy is inting very, very hard by being here. Because we know where his team is, and we know this is a bluff. Like, we know he has nowhere to go right now. He's just giving us free gold. An enemy has been slain. I mean, they'll get a tower out of the deal, I think. Um, but we get a kill, and I get a healthy respawn cycle in. So, yes, like, we lose a turret, but, I mean, that's not the end of the world. Your turret has been destroyed. Well played. Did we target ban Shivana? Does anybody know? None of my laners are here to catch this, so I'm just going to shove this in. Not shove it in, but take the gold. Your team has destroyed a turret. Damn, the Dinah's Gromp is literally coming up right now. It's awesome. Honestly, if the Sivir wants it, I'll give it to her. She's playing pretty well, this one. Sivir with blue buff is absolute cancer for the enemy team because she is kind of like giving an Anivia blue buff. She just has endless wave clear. I'm kind of worried about them getting collapsed on here, so I'm just going to kind of stand back. Give vision in the river. Alright, Brom's not here. As soon as Brom shows on the mini map, I can go for the crab. I don't have the damage to flash killer. I'm basically standing here to eat the cues for him, because he was kind of in a weird spot there. If like Dinah was hiding from Fog of War or whatever, she could have jumped on him. I really need to go back and spend my gold here. I'm getting very greedy by farming. Apparently we're fighting though, so I need to be here for this. This is a greedy recall. A big mistake that, like, uh, a common mistake that I make a lot as a player that I'm trying to work on is I'm very, very greedy with where I choose to recall. Gresh might actually live here, too, is the sad part. Damn. I guess that was a troll flash. Zion does have TP up. Alright, what am I doing here? I'm gonna go more magic resist, honestly. I don't feel like Lucian and Darius are a big enough threat.
All right, we've got Thresh Lantern to get me out. Eat. <laughs> Let's go, dude. You like that shit? I don't want to ever hear shit about how Willy P can't smite, okay? Somebody clip that, and every time someone flames me for not being able to smite, I just want to remind the world that it, at the end of the day, it's a 50-50. Right? I do have Steric, so I can kind of like look to dive here. Just zone. I wonder them. if Willy yeah. wonders why his stream is fucking dead still. Oh, is he back there? I didn't even see him. It, boys. Damn, that Thresh Lantern cooldown is so low. Let me get armor so I stop dying instantly to the Lucian. Honestly, might just go GA here. I don't know. This is like the exact same build I did last game, but it's just so good. I don't like this build at lower elos, but at higher elos, I think it's just super, super good on Udyr. I don't know. So I feel like with Warrior and Press the Attack, that gives you just enough damage to where you can kill Squishies. But, you know, the Sterex gives you enough survivability to where... um. You're not going to die instantly to their carries. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a fine balance between this build. I think if you go Aftershock with this build, you just don't do enough damage, you know? Like, yes, you're really tanky, but I just feel like you miss out on that, you know, uh, dive potential, you know? Darius ulted me, I would have died there, I think. It would have been close, but... The longer this game goes, the harder we scale. I don't mind taking this late game. Sivir's just going to get to a point where she's just going to hard, hard outperform the uh, Lucian. If they choose to shove mid here, we're going to get a bot inhib. I kind of fucked this up. I should have waited in this bush, huh? Honestly, Twisted Fate doesn't outscale most mid laners, but I feel like uh, he definitely outscales the... I'm going to put the dot here on the, the Darius. It didn't end up mattering there because our team was just kind of melting him, but in another fight, that would have mattered a lot there. Yeet. All right, that's game, I think. Really good setup for a uh, uh, thresh there. 
really good bait from the TF and then a really good like TP and follow up from the Thresh Scion. You know what I'm happy about, boys? I'm streaming for the first time at 1080p, and I haven't dropped zero frames. We might be able to just... This might just be the new regular, boys. I might be able to just start streaming and doing YouTube videos at 1080p.